Hi, I'm Linda Greenwell. I'm a dentist from Greenwell Dental Practice. So MIH is called molar incisor hypomineralization. And this disease affects the developing front teeth and the back teeth of first molars. The symptoms of MIH is that the children's teeth are very, very sensitive. They're so sensitive that they um, often, if it's the front teeth, they hold a hand in front of their mouth because they can't breathe in cold air. They can't brush their teeth because they're so sensitive. And um, it's very uncomfortable for the children. Not only is it on the back teeth, which you can't often see, but often occurs on the front teeth, which is very disfiguring. And so it's a big global problem. There's 880 million children suffering. It's one in eight. It's really high, but because there's a hundred reasons why, we as a society need to look at that and what is happening to our children's teeth to see if we can improve things for our children that they don't have to suffer from this disease. In terms of diagnosis, management and treatment, we first treat the symptoms, reduce the sensitivity, do restorations, do fillings, uh, repair the back teeth as often as needed if they're not being taken out. Sometimes we need to do crowns or onlays or inlays on a child. That's the back teeth, but the front teeth are discolored and disfigured often. And so that becomes a more of an aesthetic problem and affects a child's confidence. But I see a lot of patients who are bullied. It's bullied at school because of this. And this is the key reason the children are seeking treatment. It impacts their quality of life. All children have the right to health, medical health and dental health. And we also know oral health is a basic human right. If this treatment is in the child's best interest to not only reduce sensitivity, to improve their oral health, and by the way, improve their smile by whitening the brown marks of their teeth, then absolutely I feel that's their human right. Hello, my name's Katie Gardner. I'm the mother of Sienna Gardner. She is a patient of Linda's um, and she is currently 15. The local NH dentist explained that she had the disease hypermineralization um, and that maybe it was a birth defect, um, something happened during my birth, problematic birth or maybe during my pregnancy which I'd had neither um, and that there wasn't really a great deal that he could do and that it was something that she would you know have to live with and maybe have fill-ins when she was older um, and then that's when I started my own research. I felt like it was my fault I blamed myself for a really long time, probably about 10 years. So the process from coming to see Linda, first consultation, we clarified again that she has hypermineralization, what teeth are affected and what the pro-like outlook is. Linda then um, had them cleaned, um, specifically cleaned. She then, Sienna then had something that they call fecia seals put on every tooth which is a wax coat, if you can imagine, over a tooth that stops any decay. Um, she then had, not fillings, but four treatment fillings put into the four back teeth that are affected. She then had um, composite bonding put on four teeth, two of her front teeth and two bottom teeth. Changed her life. She's so outgoing. She smiles in pictures. She's doesn't you know she cleans her teeth so well because she just wants to keep them like this and you know it's it's been marvelous absolutely marvelous oh my god it's so stupid as well probably have a teenage girl that wouldn't really want to go out and that is the truth of it, because everything they do is about what they look like, which is quite sad, really, but it is the truth. And I think when you're a teenage girl, it's tough, really tough. So I think had she not had the treatment, had she not had the treatment, her life would be very different right now. Um, you probably won't find a photo of Sienna from about seven or eight. Um, where she smiles with her teeth until six months ago. And she probably, when talking to you, would try to hide them a little bit. If you was to ask Sienna, she would say it's the best thing that ever happened to her. The research and evidence is out there. 
we can do more to help the children, the two million children in the UK that are suffering from this disease. As dentists, we should be more involved, not only from a clinical point of view, but from a human humanitarian point of view as well. You be the change, let's lobby for change, let's help more children attain better oral health and better well-being because of this.